If you are thinking of starting a boutique or if you have a boutique, you literally need to listen to this advice right now. Okay, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I am a boutique owner. I have an online store and I also have a brick and mortar location in a really nice mall here in Sarasota, Florida called the UTC Mall. And I have been in business for five years. My mom is my business partner. And on this channel, I like to spill all the tea, the behind the scenes and give you guys all of the strategies to be successful in your boutique business and hopefully it lasts five years or much longer than that. Something just needs to be said about the boutique industry. Um, first of all, a lot of people think it is easier than um, it really is in reality and people think it's cheaper than it is. It's very expensive. It is very hard to start a boutique, to scale a boutique and to actually make money and like make this become your full-time job. It is not as easy as um, it may seem and so a lot of you guys who are boutique owners currently definitely could agree with me. Um, if you're new or you're thinking about starting a boutique, I'm not trying to discourage anybody. Like literally anybody could do this but but it does take a certain mindset and you have to you have to just be willing to accept the many failures that will come your way and just keep pushing through and that's one thing i am like so glad that i it's like a regret but it is also a thing that i'm happy about is when i first started my boutique i was straight out of college i had no clue that most people started businesses while also having another job and so I literally quit my full-time job offer that I had like I literally had a full-time job offer um with like Target corporate um coming out of college and I love the job so much because I did it as an internship and then I ended up literally telling them that I was going to be quitting my job before I even started, um, and I, I feel so terrible about that. I'm like, I'm sorry, Target, I freaking love you. I'm so sorry. Um, but my mom and I were going to start this new business. And to be completely honest with you, she had saved up money to start this business. And I was like really, really happy that I had her and I had those funds. And a lot of people don't have those funds like first available. And so we were able to live off of those funds in the very beginning um it definitely didn't carry us far but we thought well we're gonna start making money immediately okay i had the expectation that it was going to be a little bit harder to make sales and money online my mom thought it was going to be a little bit easier which i actually feel like typically it would be like vice versa or like not vice versa um flipped but I just like was like, oh, like I thought we were doing good. Like the first day that we were in business, we probably sold like eight hundred dollars. And the next day, maybe like four hundred. I'm like, oh my god, like we're doing so well. Um, but then like after that, like for two weeks, we literally, like literally, did not make sales. Like until we just kept pushing. Like there was like a week or so that we did not make one sale, one sale. Which does not surprise me looking back on it at all because A, we weren't launching new product every single day. Um, B, we had not a lot of product. And C, we were brand new. We didn't have a huge following. So, like, of course, we probably weren't going to make a lot of sales. Um, and we were, you know, we just started off online in our guest room and everything like that. So, yeah, definitely doesn't surprise me. But basically, um, but honestly, if we both still had full-time jobs and then we went through that two-week period without getting any sales we probably would have been like you know what screw this thing like, let's just stick with our day jobs kind of thing but we were in a very unique position and I know that not everybody could be in this position but um truly like we had no choice but to keep freaking going and keep pushing and I, I like literally still vividly remember after not getting a sale for like an entire week after we had initially launched i remember like being like in the gym and i like my phone to changed and i freaked out i was like yes it was like literally a 20 dollar sale it's not like it was paying our bills or anything like that but it just showed me that like okay like just keep like keep going keep pushing keep pushing one of the things that i then chose to do was to which was one of the best ideas that ever made was to launch new arrivals two times a week so i said okay every sunday and wednesday at 8 p.m we're gonna launch new arrivals two times a week this was probably like a month into our journey and every single monday and wednesday at 8 p.m i have launched new arrivals for five years straight now i am gonna be honest with you guys I've had really, really good times doing the new arrivals, like every single, like 
every single Monday and Wednesday, like at one point we were selling out so fast, but after a while, I feel like our audience got like just a little bit bored of that. So I might be switching up things um, and doing them a little bit differently this next um, year and not doing that. Um, it definitely pays to be consistent, but if I'm consistently launching new things like every day or every other day and just kind of launching them as they come in, I feel like that's just as good as launching them on Wednesdays and Sundays and then maybe I can do like collection drops and stuff like that. But yeah, I think that it's kind of getting a little bit old for me and for my customers. So like, it's not even exciting for me anymore. So why would it be exciting for my customers? So that's just an internal bottle I'm facing. It's a 2023 problem. But what I am trying to say is that at the time when I decided to start launching new arrivals every Sunday and Wednesday at 8 p.m., it was the best decision ever because it actually made my business look legit, consistent, it made my customers kind of like know what to expect and then I kept having a new product pushed at them and then they wanted the new product. So you can't expect to get sales if you are not like constantly like pushing new things. Like everyone wants what's new. Um, and that whether that is like restyling an outfit in a new way that you already have inventory in, that's great. But you need new arrivals and you need new different like styles, new looks and stuff like that for your customers to be excited. So that was one thing that I did that was really, really great. Live sales also helped us a lot, but really what I'm trying to get at is the fact that I did not quit and I kept going. Like I was like, there is no other option. Like this is our full-time job. Like we need to start making money. We need to start like paying ourselves from the business. And so we worked our little tails off to make that happen. And like it took a while to like truly get a paycheck from like a consistent paycheck from the boutique. Like it literally took so long. Um, but finally we're in like obviously a good place right now and we have been paying ourselves for years now, but like you cannot give up. And that is what I'm trying to say. Like people, friends or people that I met on the internet who, um, basically asked me to mentor them and before I really had a lot of experience I didn't charge for people to for me to mentor people like I would just like respond to their messages and like tell them like everything they need to know I spent so much time on these people and then I was like their cheerleader I was like I'm so excited I'm so proud of you like I was like so pumped I watched their boutiques like open and launch and everything like that just for them to literally quit after a month or three months or like six months like so many boutique owners quit and it's because it is not easy um but you don't have to quit like just scale back on what you're doing or you know or scale up whatever it is it doesn't matter what you do you just cannot quit you can't quit trying um, and i feel like that's what a lot of people do do and Yes, there have been plenty of times where I was getting no sales. There have been plenty of times where I was not profitable, but I did one thing that all those people didn't do. I didn't give up, legit. That's all I did. I just didn't give up. And the biggest secret that they don't tell you is that there is no secret. And I literally have done everything every single day to try to grow my business. I try, I post pictures on social media. I take new content all the time. I constantly am sending out emails, trying to grow my email list, trying to grow my text list and send out the text messages and just being consistent with all of these little things will eventually build you up. And when all those other people st like start dropping like flies and you keep building your business up, then you're going to be left with um, a great business at the end of the day and you are gonna have customers at the end of the day and every single day that you work to grow those lists of customers and to grow um, your followers and stuff like that is another day that you're gonna stay in business and you're going to make money and um, eventually um, make it a living for yourself if you're not already doing it so that is like basically all I have to say is do not give up and I just really want to encourage everybody who's um, currently in business in 2020 and thinking about quitting or, um, you know, starting a business. And it is completely different if you are like miserable doing it. Like if you love doing it, don't quit. But if you're like absolutely miserable doing it, like obviously don't do it. That's the same thing. Like if you're absolutely miserable at your nine to five, don't do it. But um, I'm talking about those of us who freaking love what we do and we, or we think we're going to love it. Like just start it, try it 
be passionate about it and do not give up. And I promise you there is light at the end of the tunnel. I am proof of it. And I promise you, if I can do it, you guys can too. So please reach out if you need anything at all. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.